of fifth rank Clemson Tigers and a generational talent in Valerie Cagle making their first trip to Chestnut Hill. It's Boston College and Clemson coming up. Anderson looking to get out of some trouble. A 2-2. Rounder to second, and Dahl looks home, but only has the play at first. And one, two with two down. That one drilled to right field. It's gonna fall in. Another run is in for the Tigers. Well, job's been hers for the most part this year, along with Hannah Slyke, and oh, that's drilled deep to left field, carrying, and oh, it's gone! Maddie Carpy with the bomb! Eagles have tied it up in the bottom of the second. That one towards second, and off the glove, and goes into right field. Jacobson comes around to score. So far, Clemson has not been able to do that today. Stranded nine runners, that one elevated to center field. That one carries, and gone! Valerie Cagle, a two-run shot. Gives the Tigers some insurance. That one, fly ball to left field. It's carrying back, back over the wall. Abby Vieta, a three-run home run. 1-1 one, one from McCubbin. Base is loaded. That one, a fly ball towards right field. A routine play there for Jacobson. And the Eagles threaten in the bottom of the seventh. They score two, but they fall to Clemson eight to four. It's the fourth victory of the season for Spencer. She's 4-0 oh on the year. Again, a sub one ERA at .95 coming into today. That one elevated to the gap in right center. Clark's gonna try to track it down. She does, tagging from third is Case. And she scores the go-ahead run for the Eagles on the sack fly by Abby Knight. That off speed's gonna drop in right center. Clark is being waved in. The throw goes to second, and it's a tie game on the RBI single by Valerie Cagle here for Clemson. That one might not make a difference. Into the gap and gone! Mackenzie Clark! A three-run bomb! The Tigers lead six to three! With two outs, a runner at second. Drilled down the first baseline. That's a fair ball, and coming around to score is Houston Oda. He's gonna stand up at second with a double. Regan Spencer started the game for Clemson. Went two innings. That one, a dribbler to second. On to first, and the Tigers have taken the first two games of the series against Boston College, and Clemson has now won 21 straight games. You think about how some of the games could have been flipped. The Galesh in the air to deep left field, that is one hop and off the wall. A late jump from second. Throw to the plate is gonna be late as Houston scores. Hoping to turn that around as the season continues. A bunt out in front of the plate. It's laid down beautifully. The run scores. Knight throws Davenport out, but on the safety squeeze, Clemson leads 2-0. A good thing for an offense. 2-2. Grounded sharply, knocked down at third. Nice play by Guy Reed to get the out at third, but a run scores. 2-0. And McLesh bounces it into right field, the base hit. Two runs are gonna score, and Clemson's lead is 6-0 in the third inning. Prior to coming here, but offensively to get the average up to 350. That is and hitting smoked bombs like to that. deep left, and it is gone. Reedy Davenport with a solo shot to make it 8 0 Clemson. Addy Carpy, the last hope for Boston College, grounds this one sharply. Nice play at third by Davenport. Throw to first in time, and that's the ball game. A complete game, one hit shutout.
for Valerie Cagle. Another mercy rule victory for Clemson, who remains undefeated in the ACC.